Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to RimWorld Ascension Take 2, Episode 4. If you enjoyed this episode, please remember to like and subscribe, and as always, mod list is down in the description. And with that, let's get into the episode. Alright, picking up where we left off last episode, today's plan is to finish restoring the Western Ruin. So, we are going to be removing the floors and building the rooms, and that is the goal for this episode. If we have some extra time, I also would like to perhaps build some farms over here in the rich soil, and maybe build a few more structures around our new central building. But those are for after we restore the Western Ruin. So, let's get to it. It seems like we should build while we wait for this to be deconstructed, it seems like we need to expand our warehouse as it's looking a little, uh, a little full of resources. So since we want to make this into a crafting area, it would make pretty logical sense, I'd say, to have a warehouse somewhere around here. So I think the way I want to try to design it is similar to how this is more rounded, I want to try to make a diagonal building. So I will be back once I've figured out the design because I already know this is going to take me a minute. And we're back and this is my idea for the basic design for a uh, new storage room or warehouse I suppose is the word I'm looking for. So this is what our new warehouse is going to look like. Now all we got to do is actually build the thing, but I think it'll look nice to have something a little different. Of course, we'll probably end up having to remove it and stuff later on, but for now, I think it'll look quite nice. Now, another thing I realized while I was editing the previous episode is I once again forgot to build a bathroom or design a bathroom for our uh, Western Ruin. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just right here, a very simple bathroom. It'll cut into the eating space a bit, but it is going to be needed. Gotta stop forgetting to build bathrooms. I forgot it last attempt. I for keep forgetting it this attempt. It's just hard to remember to do that, it seems. Hmm, looks like the rice field is being harvested again. That's good. Not that we really have anywhere to store it currently. The warehouse is still full. Still gotta build the new one. But it looks like Sam is already on it, so that's good. Hopefully that'll get done decently fast. We also are going to need to build some more packed dirt so that we can have our roads. So we're actually gonna use the line tool here to build a nice little path like so in between the warehouse and the western ruin i think it needs to be a little bit more angular though i think that was a little bit too too perfect looking there we go All right, I'm already seeing some texture issues that I'm gonna need to uh, mess around with to fix, but uh, diagonal walls, they're just complicated. But it shouldn't be too hard of a fix, all things considered. Now, we're also going to need to connect in terms of the pathways, now that I'm thinking about it. We're gonna need to connect it over here as well. So let's toggle fertility overlay. Oh, hold on a second. A social fight. Lovely. Well, they're now both pretty injured. Oh, yeesh. Don't know when that happened, but apparently Anteater had their left big toe bitten off. Well, we are going to need white to go ahead and tend to both of them. But that, again, really shouldn't be all too hard or time consuming. Now, back to what I was doing, which was designing a new path. 
So we're going to just have the path from the prison go ahead and uh, cut up here, like so. So that'll be a new path going from the new building over to the old campsite. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with the old campsite once we, you know, finish building this. But I'm sure I'll think of something. Maybe we'll just keep it set up as a uh, emergency new people join. We can kick them over here until we can get them moved in sort of a thing. And a new quest. Six archers, huh? But we get pine. A, pol a polyxkin. Hmm. Very interesting. Do I want to risk taking this and fighting six archers? Not right now. Luckily, it will expire in 15 days, so we should have some time to think about doing that. Because we are definitely not equipped to deal with six archers. Maybe in a few more episodes we will be, but right now our defenses consist of hiding behind trees and running away, which isn't nearly enough and Sam is now in confusion due to dementia that is not good seeing as Sam is our primary constructor and our backup chef oh and they're no longer confused okay I thought it was gonna last way longer than that glad it didn't I think we need to set Sam to animal handling as a second priority. We need to get this stuff built as soon as we can. Ooh, now there's an interesting quest. The decommissioned factory. Factory is controlled by the Mug Mock Federation. I have a feeling that that is well above what we can handle. Let's see. Yup, the Rough Pig Union. No, they have guns. I'm not gonna go anywhere. I don't care how good the rewards are. We're not taking that quest. I value my colonists' lives. Ah, and in the meantime, looks like our heel root has been replanted finally. And the smoke leaf, I did turn off sowing because we were having some problems, but the stuff that's there is about halfway grown. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like the new warehouse is officially complete. Now, as you can see, there are a few areas with texture issues, but it's not that bad. I'll fix it later. It's not currently one of my priorities. What is my priority is seeing these two get all this done. Although, we are out of food, so we do need to go ahead and butcher creatures. So we'll have Anteater go get on that. Looks like they do enjoy the path, which is good. Always good to see them utilizing what I make. Whoa! Well, looks like all of our goose eggs hatched, and we now have 11 geese. That's a bit much. We can't exactly that many within this pen. Now, that leaves us with two options. Either we expand the pen, or we slaughter them. I'm going to elect to slaughter them. Eventually, we will be able to keep them. But right now, we don't really have the resources or time to be expanding the goosey area. So we're going to have to, unfortunately, slaughter all the babies. And it looks like Moise here has officially been converted to the Unified Commune, which means all we now need to do is recruit. Which shouldn't be too terribly hard. They only have a resistance level of 13. So should be relatively easy to convert them, and then we can get them training up their construction skill. Ah, and the shuttle has arrived to take away the two terrifying flesh globs. Well, I am not 
opposed to that. Please get them out of my colony. And there we go. And now we send it off. And we get our reward. Very, very nice. So I'm not entirely sure what we do with this. But I'm sure it'll be useful. In some fashion. Uh, you know, I just realized why Great Bow Research is taking so long. I somehow didn't read this, which is, it's a medieval project. I completely went over my head. So, I suppose maybe in the lore, perhaps Sam told us how to make that. Since Sam is the only one here. Well, Sam and Bella now, I suppose, both came from more technological civilizations and not just a bunch of tribals so i'm gonna go with that but that is my bad i i completely missed that i did not want to research anything above our tech level and i i did i missed it oh boy a man hunting pack of hares oh that's nine of them uh, it might not seem all that scary but Nine of them, that will do some good damage if they get to us. So we are going to go ahead. It's already... Yeah, they're going to go up, just like usual. So we are going to get right here. And we're going to meet them. Head on. Now, unfortunately, none of our Dark Vandals have yet to be trained. Which is very annoying but eventually they will be so right now we only have a dog and a monkey to help defend us so we're gonna have to send Krine and Bella forward All right, that's one send forth the dog and monkey And there we go. Alright, so out of all of those hairs, three of them are still edible. Didn't take nearly as much damage as we could have. That's nice. Could have ended significantly worse. I'm still really worried though. Randy Random hasn't hit us with anything really life-threatening in a while. And he keeps giving me good events or these which is really concerning it's been uh it's been a while since our last proper raid so getting getting real concerned uh and now sam is a sad wanderer well that tracks honestly all right let's see if we can't calm sam down but i doubt it and now Anteater is having a corpse obsession. Okay. Mental breakdowns all around. Alright, well let's go ahead. Rebury humps. Don't need to leave a corpse out. That'll just drive everyone's mood down. Oh. And our Thrumbo is having a heart attack. Wow, okay, so I guess this is what is going to be happening this episode. Lovely. Okay. So, first thing we need to do is get enough sleeping spots for the Rumbo to go lay down. Yep, there it goes. Collapses. Go ahead and rescue. And then tend to the heart attack. There we go. This is going to burn through our medicine, but hopefully it'll work. There we go. No more heart attack. Ah, and the floors are finally being ripped up in the new area. Wonderful! It has been a while since uh, they've actually made any real progress on this. Sam has been determined to repair all the steel walls. He's been doing it for a while. 
Oh, looks like Bella's actually reading that thing we got from the quest that's supposed to give us some armor. So, not entirely sure how it works. I think you just read it and then it gives you the information? I think? I'm not even sure where it is. Well, I think we need to uh, not be reading this right now, honestly. It, uh... As nice as it is, right now we need to be focusing on researching the Great Bow. So we're going to go ahead and just forbid the book. I'd like to get a, at least one research project done this episode. And there it is. The Great Bow, despite being a medieval project, has now been fully researched. Now we're going to actually go back to researching what we're supposed to be doing, which is Neolithic stuff. For some reason, I thought that everything past, like, this line was all Neolithic. I was wrong. But I can't be blamed for thinking that because some things are and some things aren't. So, my bad. We're going to be researching beer brewing next anyway. So, that'll allow us to make some tea, which will help keep our people from being horribly depressed. And also just allowing general alcohol production. So, hopefully that'll allow us to do some stuff. Oh, that's not good. Mad boomalopes. Of all the wild animals on the map to go mad, it's the boomalopes. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know, their name is very accurate. They explode once they die. It's horrifying, especially when your base is made of wood. So we're going to try to kill them in the river. As much as we can, anyway. There we go. There's one. There's two. Three. And that one is going to bleed to death in the river. But there's one more, it seems. And there it goes. Most excellent. I believe that is all of them. Let's go ahead and make sure that that fire is put out. Last thing we need is that to spread further into the colony. It's also, oh, that's right. Finishing them off also causes them to explode. I forgot. Well, we will be taking those boomlope corpses and butchering them. They'll provide us a bit more food at the very least. And there it is. The last of the old flooring is gone. And that means that I can finally get to work constructing the new area. So I originally was only going to do one room at a time, but I decided that's going to take too long. I'm going to just do it all at once. So, we are going to just go ahead, lay the blueprints out, like so, and just build the whole thing. Oh, that's not good. So, Anteater and Bella just had a social fight, and Bella mangled, uh, mangled Anteater's brain. Uh, that's not good. Now, luckily, Anteater isn't too... Imp I mean, they don't have any, like, crafting or intellectual skill. It's cooking and plants. But that is still going to result in massive debuffs to all things. So that is going to be a problem. We really need to start recruiting more people. And the only way to do that is to get more raids. But more raids are also more dangerous. In better news, we have now finished the internal walls of our new building. So this is what it's going to look like. Now, if you can, if you remember, this is going to be the hospital, kitchen, bathroom, dining room, crafting room, and barracks. So let's get to putting all the stuff that those require into their places. Starting with the hospital. The hospital will be full of simple beds, just so that we can have a spot to do proper medical work. And a zone right here 
specifically for storing medicine and only medicine. It will also be the first room to receive some sort of actual floor, even if it is just a simple wooden floor for now. It will also be getting at least one wall torch so that any medical work is done in the light so it's a little bit more effective. It's a little easier to do medical work when you can actually see who you're operating on. Unfortunately, that wood floor is going to absolutely burn through our wood supply. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. Once that's done, though, we're going to get to work on the bathroom. Now, originally, my idea was to have two toilets in here, but I had a bit of a better idea. We're going to do a single toilet, but then we're also going to put in a wooden tub. And a wooden tub will need a wooden well. And it looks like we just so happen to have built right along a perfect spot to drill a well. Albeit a very basic one, but it's better than nothing. And so then we'll have a nice little bathroom with a little tiny sink, which I'm going to move near the door, and a single latrine. Nothing fancy, but it should be something that our people enjoy a lot more than having to use the outhouse and then go rinse their hands off in the cold river. And there it is. Anima tree linking. We have finally gotten that high enough to give psychic powers. Now, unfortunately, I don't think we can give it to Bella since even though they're high psychically hypersensitive they aren't technically a tribal so we're gonna have to give it to someone else and i'm gonna choose whoever is the least injured which leaves us with white and crime now i like to make psychic powers related to their skills so white would end up being probably a medical magic and crime would probably be more crafting magic I think we're going to go with white because, well, frankly, we just need medical magic, it seems. So we are going to give it to white. Let's go ahead, get that done. Sam and Moise are not participating. Oh, and Bella is going on a smoke leaf binge. Well, that's not the worst thing to be binging. That might actually help them get out of it a bit faster. And there it is. Our very first psychic caster. All right. Now, I believe the healing one is the protector. Yep, it is protector. So white will now officially have protector magic. And we want to try to go up here and get this one. Regrowing psychic limbs. Well, regrowing limbs using psychic magic very useful. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that would allow you to heal a mangled brain scar. I certainly hope it would, but I'm not entirely sure. But I do know it will be useful seeing how many limbs we seem to keep losing. And we will start by getting word of healing. So now we can quickly pump up someone's natural healing rate. Which, essentially, it does the same thing that Bella's special ability as the Unified Shaman does. Which, if we go here, this does pretty much the same thing, but this has a cooldown, whereas Healing Word can be cast repeatedly. And that is where I'm going to end this episode off. We made some good progress, we got research done, we got Psychic Powers, and we have almost restored the West Bruin. We've gotten the hospital done, and we've got the bathroom started. So next episode, it will be done. Now, normally, my idea was we add things to the list at the beginning of the next episode, but I have some things I want to put on there now. So, here in the ending, we're going to go over next episode's plans. First, we are going to build right around here a food storage area. 
Because having the food stored here and here, and then having to run all the way up here to cook it, that's not good. We need it here. Next, we also need to build some basic houses. So those two things are going to be after we finish this, and we also need to expand the goose pen. So those are now our four goals. Once those are complete, or even before that, we'll need, we might put more on. With all that done, I suppose I will see you all in the next episode.